Big play after big play all night long. Doesn't matter who's defending him. He's in the zone right now. And his mentality is make a play. Okay, man. Whoever is not a Kawhi Leonard believer, for whatever reason, I think now it's time to stop the nonsense. Kawhi Leonard is one of the best players in the league. I'm going to call Kawhi top five right now. As a matter of fact, I tweeted this out earlier in the series. I'm just showing you guys my tweet. Don't get mad, we all have opinions. Let me know what you think about this tweet. Agree or disagree? This series he's having against the Dallas Mavericks is, I'm, I'm trying not to overstate things. I'm trying not to be dramatic, but it feels like one of the best first round series that I've seen a player have. Kawhi is just flat out getting to his spots and dominating. I'm not sure if it's Kawhi taking this matchup personal. I'm not sure if it's unfinished business from last season. Whatever it is, Kawhi looks bouncy. He looks like he's in the zone and he looks like he does not want to lose. Kawhi dropped 45 points. He was 18 of 25 and Best of all, the Clippers were on the verge of being eliminated. He didn't make excuses. He stepped up. He got the job done. We even saw a solid amount of Kawhi on Luka tonight. And Luka wasn't bad by any stretch, but it didn't really feel like he dominated this game. 29 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds, 11 of 24 from the field. Luka was fantastic, but I know he can be better. Now, if I'm the Dallas Mavericks, I'm a little scared because one, Kristaps and Boban aren't giving me enough. Now the Mavs decided to go big this series and I understand why you go big against small ball. It's the obvious, well, they're doing one thing, I'm going to do the other polar opposite thing and hopefully it works out. I've had mixed feelings about Boban and Kristaps playing together because if you're going big and you're playing Boban, he has to be effective. You're going to have to feed him. You're going to have to feature him to some extent. Now, I think Boban's a talented player. I think he's a lot more than just tall, but I don't think he's shown his true skill this series. And the Clippers, despite going small, they have length. They're a physical team. Now, again, if you go big, you're going to need more than five rebounds out of Chris Stapps in 31 minutes. You're going to need more than nine rebounds out of Boban. I know he only played 17 minutes, but he got four offensive rebounds. I'm not sure all four offensive rebounds weren't him getting his own misses. If you go big, you have to play big, and I can't stress that enough. Now, everybody's been hard on Tyron Lue, and you know, maybe rightfully so, but we gotta give Tyron Lue some props for the adjustments he's made throughout this series. For one, benching Patrick Beverly was an A-plus move. I mean, Patrick Beverly was giving what felt like nothing out there on the basketball court. Reggie Jackson has provided a spark in a lot of his minutes. And by going small to some extent, Tyrone Liu has made Rick Carlisle go against everything that he basically believes in. What am I talking about? Well, I have actually been waiting to use this quote from Rick Carlisle for a while. When Kristaps Porzingis was getting criticized about not posting up enough or not getting enough post-up plays ran for him earlier in the season, Carlisle's responded by saying the post-up isn't a good play anymore. It just isn't a good play. It's not a good play for a 7-3 guy. It's a low value situation. Our numbers are very substantial that when he spaces beyond the three-point line, you know we're a historically good offensive team. And when any of our guys go in there, our effectiveness is diminished exponentially. There's certain situations where it makes sense. If we can get them on a roll in the paint towards the rim, that's a good situation. And that's what we'll try to do with all of our guys. We don't post anybody up. We post Luca up every once in a while when he has a real small guy on him. But even those situations, the value of those situations has plummeted. We've got to realize that this game has changed. It's just a fact. And he's a guy, when he spaces beyond the arc, above the break, is a historically all-time great. I actually can't believe he said that. 
three-point shooter with unbelievable efficiency. And the thing I like about his game now is his reads have gotten better. His spacing is such that when people run at him, he's now driving the ball directly for dunks. He's throwing some really good lob passes to Dwight Powell. I mean, you've got a 7'3 guy throwing lobs to a 6'10 guy. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, so actually I think this quote is from two seasons ago, but my point remains the same. Rick pretty much goes on to call the triangle offense extinct and he kind of keeps going. So yeah, Rick doesn't believe in posting up, but here he is against the Los Angeles Clippers in certain situations trying to feature mediocre post players on the block. I'll give it to Rick, it's worked to an extent, but I don't think it's how he wants to play basketball at all. In spurts, Willie Cauley Stein and Powell have given the Mavs some great minutes. At some point, I wonder if you just consider benching Chris Stapps altogether. Having a 7'3 guy that's just out there spacing the floor is no different to me than having a 6'6 guy out there just spacing the floor if that's all they're bringing to the game. The Mavs have to find a way to utilize Kristaps Porzingis' skill set or they just have to move on from him in the near future. If Kristaps could take his game to another level, if they could figure out how to properly use him, this Mavs team becomes that much more dangerous. I've always felt like being a catch and shoot player in the NBA is hard. As a basketball player, I'm always the best when I'm handling the ball and I'm able to get a rhythm. If you're a catch and shoot guy and you're just spacing, you may not be afforded the opportunity to get into a rhythm. Let me know what you guys think about everything. I'm get like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.